appeared here at the Port Macquarie local court today facing six charges, one of them the suspected possession of stolen goods. He'll remain behind bars until the 7th of April when he'll reappear here again. Maddie? Thanks, Samantha. Samantha Crow there in Port Macquarie. Motorists could soon have the power to break cartel-like behaviour between service stations. New legislation before state parliament is demanding all service stations report their fuel prices in real time online. There's no doubt the internet is paving the way for the future. Now it's said to give motorists the edge when filling up at the Bowser. Fuel stations will be required to actually submit their prices in real time to an online portal, uh, essentially a website, which will be accessible uh, on people's smartphones, tablet devices or on desktop computers. Other states across Australia already using the idea. Yeah, they've got something like that in WA where you can look up where's the cheapest in the area. And I always had a look when I was there. Mm, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I've just moved from Brisbane and they do that in Brisbane routinely. Driving on regional roads, these boards can be few and far between. Online boards will allow locals to better prepare and in the long run see numbers drop. They drive further competition and hopefully lower fuel prices because now fuel, fuel service stations won't be able to hide behind the fact of sheer distance. For those not online, it may not be quite as effective. It would be a bit harder with the older people, yes. A lot better for the younger people, I think. Eloise Sawyer, Prime 7 News. Great Lakes Council is set to receive over $240,000 in recovery funding for the 2013 storms and floods. We're joined by Letitia Wallace for more on this. And Letitia, why has it taken so long for the money to come through?